Hello, YouTube. All right. What do we have there? It's a Sony. Oh, well, it's liquid. Ah, it is the Sony DSXA415BT. Pretty nice radio. I got it from Walmart. It cost $80. I know it varies from $80 to $100, depending on what Walmart you're at. Um, it's pretty cheaper than what you can pick it up on Amazon. It has Apple Play, Google Play. And it's a pretty nice radio. If you want to use the Bluetooth on it, forget about it. It's really complicated to hook a phone up to it. And Sirius XM, I haven't tried it. Neither have I tried Pandora. I've had this radio in my K5 Blazer, which is a convertible. Pop the top off it. And I've had it in here for a while. It's not the best radio, and I'll show you why. Why I dislike this radio so much. Fan off here. That was my CD radio you heard, Chirp. Okay, turns on. Just tired. Pain. It's got a decent amount of power. I have quite a few speakers in this Blazer, but what I don't like about it, what I really hate, put the keys out. That chirping noise, chirping goodbye. I've tried going through the settings, I've tried a bunch of stuff. You cannot turn that off. And that doesn't sound like a big deal, but trust me, it gets annoying. Passengers will ask about it. Everybody will be like, what is that noise? Is this radio. That is my biggest complaint with this radio, and why I'm switching to this radio. I'm gonna make another video where I install this one. This is the JVC KDR690S, and we're gonna install it in a later video. So if you guys want to watch that, I'll put the link in the description for it. But that's what I don't like about this radio. Um, it has a remote right here. I never used it. But besides that, it's good. If that noise doesn't bother you, I would say buy it. But other than that, it's one of the mill head unit for $80. All right, thank you guys.